Yo, Novatos, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. Infamous here, quarantined. Uh, you know, we, we are about that quarantine life right now. I uh, still have some symptoms, but let's go ahead and get in with the uh, topic of today's video. The, uh, the speed, the speed banded helmet. It's been five months since I've purchased this helmet. And uh, you know what? Straight to the nitty gritty. In a nutshell, $275. For this helmet, um, uh, you know what? If you really like the look of the helmet, and you don't mind the quality, you don't mind the functionality, you don't mind, uh, you know, the noise, um, everything else, then you know what? This this helmet's for you. <laughs> but uh, honestly, for two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Uh, I own the lane splitter and I also own the ghost banded But uh, as you can see it's a good looking helmet. Honestly, it is uh, This is the ghost banded uh, Visor here. It's the gold one looks really nice. It looks great but Overall for the $275 there's helmets out there that that can that I'll offer you a lot more uh a lot more f for a lot less and I've had HJC helmets uh, a lot of people on the Facebook group they, they recommend this this helmet honestly uh, like I said it, it has a really cool looking design it, it's you know it's a little bit more modern it's updated from uh, Simpsons Street Bandit but um, it's just that it just looks nice. Uh, overall, you know, these vents, they're functional. These vents over here, they're also functional, but just when you, when you look at the quality of the helmet, uh, it just screams, you know, a hundred dollars. I have the, uh, the Gringo S honestly, the Gringo S I still have it. I like that helmet. Uh, I believe that <laughs> that helmet, which is, you know, probably half the price of this one is, it has a better build to it uh, than than the one I'm holding here, than the Speed uh, Bandit. And quite honestly, I mean, I honestly thought that this helmet was probably made here in the USA after you know seeing it and opening it up. Uh, I know they're they're somewhere out in Texas, and they do offer American-made helmets, but those are their their uh, their drag. Uh, series or their 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 street uh, their drag series racing helmets, those are upwards uh, around a thousand dollars. So, or I, I believe they're even higher than a thousand bucks. But uh, yeah, I, I thought that I was paying for something that was probably made here. I was like, you know what? They probably took a couple corners. Uh, maybe that's why it's almost three hundred dollars. You know, after looking at the quality of the helmet, you don't uh, you know this padding. Uh, this padding is just absolutely, um, you know, screams China. The the rubberized uh, uh, chin in the front of the helmet, it's, it's you know, it's just it just lacks quality all the way around. You don't have any vents. You don't have any functional vents. You don't have uh, the feel of it. The snaps. Every time I go and grab uh, the helmet, I always have to kind of push this back into place. It's just they keep on popping out. And overall, it's just for 270 bucks, it's just not there. And like I mentioned, I have a HJC that cost about less, about half the price of this helmet, less than half the price. And you have functional vents, you have, uh, you know, a visor, you have, uh, you have, a, you know, kind of like this one, toolless visor. It's, it's just kind of like what, what happened, uh, you know. You're just, you're just kind of wondering on, you know, what's, what's going on. But overall, this is the size M. Uh, as you can see back here, it's a, it's a medium size. My, my head size is seven and a quarter. So, uh, I believe the only reason why it fits a little loose, just basically because of the quality of the inside of the padding. There's it, there isn't really any, it's, uh, it's actually minimal. When it comes to the cushion and everything else, uh, I believe that's the the reason why it fits a little loose on me. Uh, like I said, I'm seven, seven and a quarter. But you know the helmet looks good. 
uh, everything else, like I said, it's just a disappointment uh, for the 275. I know I keep on going back, but you could you could get yourself an HJC or you could get yourself uh, 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 a, uh, you could get yourself a Bitwell uh, a lane splitter. And kind of like that, this doesn't have a, a chain current. It's just that uh, when you're when it's in the cold season, it, it, you can really feel the wind uh, in this helmet, and the the air really gets under there. It gets underneath the helmet, and you can really you know hear the the, the wind noise. So uh, that's a, that was a little disappointing. I was hoping that they'd have a, a chain curtain here to kind of help with the uh, the wind, but they don't, and they don't even offer a slip on or, or uh, add on that you could. Kind of uh, slide in here but the lane splitter you pretty much have all of that not to get too deep on the other helmets but this is the lane splitter right here you have some venting on the front and then you have some exhaust venting on the back this is also a size m and i as you can see i also have the same uh color uh visor yes yeah, so this one's a little bit dirty because i haven't used it because i've been using this the speed bandit but uh, the, you can see it automatically right here. The quality of the padding is uh, is beyond what you get on the Speed uh, Bandit, and you also get a, a chin, uh, you know, chin current over here. You also have, uh, like I said, uh, higher quality, more padding, more comfort over the uh, the Speed Bandit, and they're they're honestly the same price. They are. Uh, you just get. I believe, quite honestly, you get the, the quality of a of a Ghost Bandit with the uh, with the lane splitter, uh, 100%. I'm I'm just being honest. I mean that's 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 what it is, and it's a good looking helmet as well. You just don't have that aggressive eyebrow uh, on the top of the helmet that that gives uh, Simpsons that uh, that distinctive uh, look that they have on them. But honestly, with these uh, style helmets, I believe they're they're perfect for moto vlogging. Mainly because of the uh, the chin of the helmets, they're a little bit more further away compared to my HJC and my uh, and my Bitwell Gringo, which I do still have. And my HJC, uh, which is you know about one hundred and twenty nine dollars or one hundred and twenty dollars, uh, there's a lot better uh, quality in that helmet. Uh, the noise level is a lot better. The functionality, the the closing vents, the opening vents. They actually work. You can feel it, you know, in your head uh, and inside of the helmet when you open those up, you know, just to cool down. And another thing that I noticed by having these extended chin helmets, they fog up a lot more. So uh, it's just one of those minor things. So, I mean, saying a lot of negative stuff about the helmet. Let me show you guys my other SimSim helmet. And here it is. This, like I said... Uh, this one for the price uh, if you if you like any of these styles uh, quite honestly if you're a fan of Simpson then you know it, it is what it is you're gonna go with Simpson uh, helmets but if you like this one and if you also like the the, the bit will uh, uh, lane splitter I 100% recommend you, you for anybody to go the, the bit will route because you're, you're saving yourself quite a bit of money uh, for the 270 and you're getting the exact same build that you would get with this uh with this uh, uh, uh ghost bandit this one this is completely comparable to the uh lane splitter but you know what i'm not going to get into these other helmets this is about the the speed bandit just wanted to kind of bring that up sorry about uh rambling a little bit and going off topic but uh, let's let's just let's talk about a few pluses a few uh, you know, positive, uh, positive things about the helmet. You have this toolless uh, visor, which you know it works. It's a little, it's a pain in the butt to put it on there, and uh, sometimes it feels like you're gonna break it. Uh, when I installed my Ghost Bandit and when I installed this one, I, I absolutely thought I was gonna break this helmet, the visor itself. But you really have to crank on it, and. Overall, this is just what you see here. This is this is this is just fake. Uh, this is this is not padding up here. This is not padding. This is just the uh, this is the foam on the inside of the helmet. This is just to make it look like it's padding all the way around. But 
I'll, I'll show you guys footage of it, but on the inside, it's just a little sleeve just to make it look like it's padding. Um, but you know what? Like I was going to say some positive stuff. Positive things about the, about the helmet is the look. You have this cool eyebrow uh, design on the top. It looks a little aggressive. You also have some vents. Uh, it, you know, you, you could definitely hear the road, the, the motorcycle, if that's what you like. And there is a lot of venting in this helmet, mainly because you don't have a, uh, a chain current and you don't have uh, closable vents on the top. So it, it, it is loud and it is uh, cool. Uh, the, the positives, I'd say the visor, it holds its, its location. It doesn't, it doesn't close or anything. So it, it really locks into place. There's no... There's no closing when you're riding. There's no accidental, you know, it shutting down on you or closing. It's going to hold its, its, its location. So wherever you put the visor, it's going to hold. And the, the locking mechanism, it's easy to get to. It's only on one side. Uh, so that's pretty much it. You have this little receding uh, location to kind of have it you know make it easier for you to kind of lift because like I said having this extended chin it just seems that you fog up the the visor a lot more sooner than than I would with uh, my my other helmet and you also have a pin uh, lock on the visor that's an additional uh, amount of money I've never used it so I, I wouldn't know uh, how it would function I've always just used it as stock and uh, for honestly if this helmet was you know, a hundred and ninety dollars, or or maybe a hundred and fifty. I I tell you, go out there and get it because for for that amount, you know, you're you're gonna be paying a little bit more uh, than than those other Amazon helmets that you could probably find for about uh, eighty or ninety or a hundred dollars. Uh, but quite honestly, for two seventy and what you could get on the market for that amount, uh, it's just one of those things that uh, I I just can't tell anybody to go out there and get it. Uh, so overall, if you like the helmet and you like the company, uh, then absolutely go out there and get it. And if you already have the Ghost Bandit or you already have, or if you have the Outlaw Bandit or you have, you know, something else, then uh, I, I don't see a need for you to get this. You're a worthless piece of shit! You know what, that's, that's my overall impressions of the Speed uh, Bandit. If you guys are a fan of the look. If you guys are a fan of the brand, the manufacturer, then by all means, uh, go out there and get it. But if you're looking for quality, if you're looking for functionality, if you're looking for noise control, uh, comfort, uh, you're, you're better off getting uh, looking somewhere else. But overall, you know, that's, that's, my, that's my two cents. Uh, having it now for five months, six months. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.